Hey everybody, uh, Robert Nichols with a daily training video. We're doing another video on nunchucks. Um, so again, as I've been saying, beginners, if you wanna play around with it, go for it. You guys are home, develop a new school uh, skill, have fun with it uh, while you're not in school. Uh, if you don't own a pair of nunchucks, totally fine, I get that. Um, you just need a length of rope, something that's flexible that you can tie knots on the end to give it a little bit of weight. Uh, the other day, I, I, in one of the videos, I took a, a rank belt, like your regular belt, fold it in half, and then tie knots on the end. It works exactly the same. I was doing all kinds of drills with it. It'll be, it'll be good enough for what you're doing. Um, so this video is a little, little advanced. We're gonna do forward and backwards figure eights, okay? Uh, traditionally, students don't even charge, start these until like red belt. Uh, sometimes they'll play around with them a little earlier, but they're, uh, they're a little tricky. So when we say a figure eight, we mean like, think about the number eight, right? Um, if I start from over my shoulder, that's a nice way to get into the forward figure eight. And forward means, I'm going down, I'm going forward with the weapon, okay? I'm doing it as slow as I can here, so that way you guys can kind of see the idea. And what's important, what I wanna point out now is not only is the stick on the end of the chain moving from side to side, but the stick that's in my hand moves from side to side as well. This stick has to move just as much as the other one. Sometimes you'll see people that lock this in place and try to do this, and it's all well and good, you can do it, um, but you have a lot less control and you're way more likely to hit yourself. Okay, so from over the shoulder, I can do my forward figure eight going downward, okay? Nice thing to do with this is when you're going, okay, now I'm doing it, how do I stop? I'll bring it to the outside, right? Tuck it under my arm. Okay, so again, forward, bring it to the outside of my body, tuck it under my arm, okay? We did a video already on a, on uh, underarm catches. So, now I'm under my arm, now I do the, the one that's usually slightly harder, is the backwards figure eight, or the reverse figure eight. This one goes up, okay? The way I like to do this, the way that, helps, that helped me learn it, is for my underarm position, I'm gonna go up and to the outside to start it. I'm gonna go this way, okay? Would be no different than if I was going to do a backspin catch, right? That's the first motion of it, is the backspin catch here. Okay, but when it goes up and out to the outside, then I turn my hand back over, right? See my palms up, and I turn it over, now my palms down. And this gives me, okay, backwards figure. Look at it like this too, okay? For when you're on the inside, when you're on this spot, when it comes to the inside here, there's a moment where the weapon is coming right at your face. So keep your arm away from you, okay? Um, it's the more difficult one. If you're having a hard time with it, another way to do it is to swing it backwards towards you. Okay, see how it's coming at me every time on the outside of my body? And then turn my hand over, so it's coming at me, and then turn it over, turn it over, turn it over, turn it over, and just start to take out the spins. Okay, and again, back to my shoulder. So from my shoulder, I have forward, catch it under my arm, I have backwards. All right, forward and backwards, figure eight. Really good arm workouts, okay? Practice both arms. Don't just do it really, really good at one hand, right? And then do the other one. Trivia question if you're watching the video, okay? Trivia question. Am I right or left-handed? You don't know? Which one? Huh? What am I? All right. So, and if you have two nunchucks, and it's time to get really fancy, do both at once, okay? Start from over your shoulder, do your forwards. Notice on these, when I did it individually, my arm is in front of me. When I do dual, I have to angle them out a little bit, um, because if you do them straight, they're eventually going to hit, right? You can hear them clicking every now and then. So you gotta angle them out a little bit. I will totally admit when I do this, my arms are out and I will lean my chip, my chin up and back a little bit. Uh, Cause let's be honest, we're human. We don't wanna get hit. Catch it under the arm and now go backwards. Off the shoulder, under the arms. If you're feeling really uh, brave and you wanna try another one, instead of starting them here, start them from the same shoulder. So now the figure eight is going in the same direction. Okay, so, little fun toy for you. Um, 
total time wasters. This is, this is a fidget spinner for ninjas. You know, just you sit there with that fidget spinner and spin that thing. You get a pair of nunchucks and just sit there and okay, cool, I'm playing around. And that's honestly how you get good at it, okay? So post some videos. Uh, let me see you guys playing around with these. Let me see how you're doing. Uh, once again, trivia question on my left or right hand, did you tell by my nunchucks? And uh, you know, stay safe guys, have fun.